everyone. Welcome to Medical Writing Fundamentals, or How to Write Regulatory Documents. We're going to spend an hour and a half going through some of the basics of medical writing, and hopefully this will help you in your future endeavors. Our objectives for today are we're going to review basic medical writing skills, including the correct practices for abbreviations, how to caption consistently for your figures and tables, how to generate tables manually if necessary. We're going to talk about style guides, styles and templates. All of those things are very important in medical writing. We'll talk a little bit about the communication process necessary for document review and completion. And we'll go over information about conducting a literature search. And then how do we apply these skills to some of the general regulatory documents that we're familiar with. All right, let's talk about utilizing styles and templates. We use typically Word for all of our document generation in medical writing, and if you're not familiar with Word, it's a really good idea to get a, a real understanding of how Word works. So in Word, we use basically in our templates and in all of our documents, styles. And a style is basically just a collection of instructions that are hard-coded into the software for generating different types of fonts, and different types of spacing between your paragraphs or sentences, et cetera. So you use these styles to organize and format your paragraphs, headings, captions, et cetera, in your document. So for some of you, this may be very basic stuff. For those of you that aren't familiar with it, it's really helpful to understand the styles and how they work. So there are different types of styles. We have title style for titles. That can be modified to fit all caps, different font sizes. It could be title case, which is capitals at the beginning of each word and lowercase for the rest of the word. So however you want your title to look, you can generate your style for that format within your document. For body text within the document, we typically use body text or paragraph style, but there are a number of different styles you can choose from. And caption is the standard style for table or figure captions within your document. Headings, we name them by level. So a level one heading would be one or 1.0. A level 2 heading would be 1.1, .1, a level 3 heading 1.1.1, et cetera. So Word has a variety of built-in styles. These are usually found on your Home tab, and for those of you that are using updated versions of Word, there's also a Quick Styles tab, and that started in 2007. Your Quick Styles panel looks like this panel up here on the top. It has a bunch of different styles there, and you can see where it's highlighted here. You can actually open that Quick Styles panel, and you'll get a drop-down, as you see in the slide. Now I'm going to go through a little bit of some of the styles for you to sort of explain to you how they work. You can see at the top, this long bar up in your toolbar is your Quick Styles panel. And in the bottom corner, you can see where it was highlighted in yellow in the previous slide. And as you can see, we're doing what I call driving with your headlights on here. This is a protocol where you can see spacing these paragraph symbols, which is highlighted up here in blue. Right next to your Quick Styles bar is your paragraph symbol that shows all of your document editing. So as a medical writer, what I've learned to do is to use this symbol, I typically, every document that I have, I can see every space, et cetera, in it. It's a, it's a helpful tool. If you're not used to it, it can be a little distracting at first, but I recommend using it. It's a, it's a good tool to use. So here we have drop down on your right, the styles from your quick styles. We've clicked that little button on the bottom right, and we're, we can see that we have captions and all different types of styles that are generated within this document. When you hit that panel, it'll show you all the styles that are available. Some of them are in use. Some of them may be old styles that aren't used anymore. It's a good idea to clean up your document. I have a, a word specialist that I use that's very good at getting all of these old styles out of the document. It's, it's always best to just have the styles you're currently using. And you can see that some of these styles have little notations toward the right, and we'll talk about those in a minute. As I've just mentioned, there's an icon to the right. This ind indicates the type of style, paragraph styles have this little paragraph symbol. These are used basically to format a whole paragraph of text at a time. Character styles, these are used to format a few characters within a paragraph. So you're, a whole paragraph is not going to be designated by this type of style. It's more or less going to be some type of symbol or, or specific letters. Table styles and list styles typically have a box 
or a bullet or a little dash. And these are only used in Word 2002 and later versions, which I'm pretty sure everybody's using at this point. So what you want to do when you're generating a document, especially if you don't have a template that has the styles embedded, you're going to want to apply or modify your styles. So you can see we have a drop-down again in this document. This, this drop-down shows all of the styles within this document that are currently in use, even if you're not using them now. Any style that's been used in the document at any point in time is going to show up here. So that's why I talked about cleaning up your document. It's really helpful to get rid of all those old styles that might somehow get incorporated or be running in the background. And you can see that many of these have icons to the right. So we have a number of different paragraph styles here. We have some character styles, etc. So it's important to see what you're using and what kind of style it is. It's very helpful to know that if you're planning to modify anything that you have in your document. So modifying styles is, is actually very easy, but if you're not familiar with it, it might seem a little daunting. Don't get terrified by this. It's really actually a, a very useful tool and you'll get very comfortable with it quickly. There are a couple ways to do it. Some people like to use the keyboard. Not everybody uses a mouse. If you use the keyboard, you're going to hit Control-Shift-S. You'll get that drop-down list that you saw. You select the style. You just highlight it with your mouse or you move your cursor up there and highlight it. And then you tab over to the Modify button and press Enter, and you'll get a Modify Style dialog. For the mouse, it's a little easier if you're used to that. From the Home tab in the Styles gallery, you just right-click the thumbnail for the style you want to modify and choose Modify.